Tonight is the night for democracy because, to put it very simple, there's no democracy without a free press. I can't think of a better way to be coming out of COVID and back into, you know, normal times than to have an event that celebrates openness and transparency itself. I love JHR. I'm very passionate about it. Tonight I am the gala chair and it's such an honor and I have to say it's amazing to all be here again in this place. I have never been prouder of this organization than at this very moment. The work that our executive director, Rachel Pulfer, and her team have done to get more than 100 vulnerable journalists out of Afghanistan, many of them coming to Canada, has been, I, I, don't, if, I would bow if I wouldn't hit your microphone. That's what I would do. JHR is an organization that steps up. To date, we have evacuated 166 Afghans. From There's so much work to be done and stories to be told around the world. I think this is the beginning of where these stories get told. What I see is a critical juncture in the relationship between journalism and human rights. And I would argue that never has that intersection been more important. This is not an academic conversation. This is urgent. As I look at those pictures, it's hard for most of us here to imagine it. There are many people in this room who, who understand it acutely. Just to be clear, reporting human rights is dangerous and risky, but also heartwarming, especially when families of victims feel that someone is lending a voice and telling their story. This is what happens. It's like we're having two different conversations in Canada sometimes. I mean, part of reconciliation is having, having those conversations and getting at the truth, right? If an evil person like Taliban can stop me from going to education, tomorrow it might be my daughter, your daughter, or your family. Our commitment doesn't end in one side of the world. It's humanity. If I'm hurt, you're hurt. You guys created a miracle. And that was possible through fast action, through a community, through contribution of each and every one of you. It's time to dig deep. We haven't seen each other in two years and we gotta make up for some lost time, Rachel. Another $500, here we go. Let's keep this rolling. Do not take your foot off the gas. Failure is not an option. We have not failed. We are crushing our goal tonight and it's because of all of you. Afghans have a proverb. It doesn't matter when someone shows up, how big your home is. What matters is how big your heart is. And history reminds us that in the dark, there will be light. And in every end, there will be a beginning. I would like to end my remarks by thanking you for your spirit of generosity in the benefits of human rights for the most vulnerable of our global community. Thank you so much.